This is Twit. Now, are you, you're probably not surprised that ransomware is on the rise. Well, for state and even local governments, it continues to grow as an issue. Now, based on recent security scans done by a public tool, reveals that ton, uh, actually a ton of public organizations have failed to do more than put a patch over a common system vulnerabilities that, if successfully exploited, could bring their operations to a standstill. Now, if you remember, we covered the Robinhood ransomware, uh, which infected the network of the Baltimore City uh set of computers two weeks ago, even after that big blow that brought the city to a halt, the InfoSep group that was actually supporting that is still having trouble securing their infrastructure and software for even more vulnerabilities. Now, let's put it to some perspective here. Baltimore wasn't the only one to be hit with ransomware over the last one. Listen to this list. Lynn, Massachusetts, Cartersville, Georgia, both were hit with an electronic payment system, uh, where, which actually taken offline by ransomware this past month. Greenville, North Carolina, was struck by the same Robin and ransomware affected by Baltimore in April. But here's another eye opener. Remember that SMB V1 vulnerability we found a couple of years ago now? Public organizations still haven't pub- actually plugged that hole. Uh, in fact, the Shodan search engine and other public sources have revealed that thousands, hundreds, if not thousands, of servers in, on the U.S. public school systems are still vulnerable to it. In fact, down the street from all the hubbub with Baltimore, the Baltimore County's public school system have eight publicly accessible servers that still were running in configurations that indicated they were vulnerable to the eternal blue uh, vulnerability, the uh, the equation group exploit exposed by shadow brokers back in April 2017. Now, this, this exploit is also used as part of WannaCry, or WannaCry malware. Baltimore isn't the only city here with the problems, though. The Montebello Unified School District in Los Angeles has problems. Fresno Unified School District in Fresno, the Washington School of Information over in Washington State, Cupertino Union School District in San Jose, and the list goes on. It's two years since WannaCry. When it's time to, uh, when is it time to actually start vaccinating and stop being vulnerable to the plague of exploits that can that can be prevented? If you or your organization haven't checked yet, you might want to go on that witch hunt to ensure your systems are secured and safe from the WannaCries of the world.